Get busy living or get busy dying. That's goddamn right. Structures or whatever the means of survival is. Um, so yeah, um, the Alice, uh, I think for the garden, we are fortunate to see that the seed is there and it start to regenerate uh, it a lot. It's got the the aloes, uh, the, this has got red flowers. So in the time that the aloes uh, were big and it flowered. Uh, it was a beautiful display. Um, but in fact, this was actually the, sort of the the biggest stand of these uh, uh, of, of these aloes. So it was, uh, it was really a good show. So when they died, it was such a sad, <laughs> sad, sad story. So we 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 hope that there is enough, you know, uh, seedlings yeah. and saplings to then replenish the the population. It was actually it was the, this was the biggest population. Yeah. In in the in, in the windook. Yeah. So it's just like the windhoek alone. Yeah, the densest. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. But however, it's not this it, this al does not originate from here. It's al to like it's originate from Angola. It's a literal it means of the coast. So it, it was first described from from Angola. You know, although we have uh, personalized and uh, possessed it, <laughs> it's, uh, it's not really ours. You know, they, if they were the bigger plants and the and the and the seedlings, it's going to be very interesting. The seedling, if you look at the leaves, it's got lo it's more spots mm -hmm. than the the the, the older plants so don't have as as many spots. Yeah, you know, that's, what, that's quite normal. You know, youngsters they got small spark. As you grow older, <laughs> less spark, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, Alo, yes. Yeah. yeah. Without, not without permission. Yeah. You need a permit. Yeah. yeah. You need a, but it, uh, but it's it's all over in the garden. I don't know how it's actually happening, but uh, yeah. You yeah. must go through their office. <laughs> yeah, uh, through yeah through the um, either Ministry of Environment yeah. or then the City of Ventuk. City of uh, Also um, provide the. Uh, um, uh, permits, you know. but uh, what I would rather suggest is um, rather try to get some seeds and propagate uh, from seeds. They, are, they actually grow quite easily from uh, seeds um, and leave the uh, plants in the natural condition or natural state. Um, however, I know like um, they are busy with uh, putting up a pipeline for the water just on the other side of the mountain mm. um, we fortunately enough uh, um, the guys that were uh, contracted to install the pipes uh, managed to take out some of the aloes to save them um, and then to rehabilitate the, the area uh, once they are, are done um, I can also uh, ever say um, basically they some of the, um, those uh, structures that actually appear there is the, the cover tree mm -hmm. and they are actually indigenous more in the in the Namib area um, they've got yellow flowers yep. yeah um, interestingly the the Vintuk aloe has got red flowers whereas they got um, a yellow flower and why they say also cover tree is the bushmen use the, the stem it's um, not very hard they Take out the inner side of the of the yeah, trunk, basically, the trunk and then and they use it to put in the arrow, quivers. Arrow. Mm -hmm. So quiver, or they the yeah, put the arrows in the uh, arrows, yeah, mm. the arrows. I see the mushroom, the mushroom well, yeah. growing here, and uh, is it is it common around here, mushrooms? Yeah, I think when when it rains like this, yeah. you, you get a lot of these, um, yeah. you know, fun, you know. Fungi, fungi, yeah. mm, fungi. But but they, most of these are very poisonous. poisonous. Yeah. Yeah. I think nearly everyone what you are seeing is poisonous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to be safe. Yeah. Yeah. It's growing outside in front of my yard. Mm. Every year this one just comes. Mm. They, just at that place it dies off, but at the same place. At the same because they're spores. The spores are yeah. like just yeah. The, yeah. Because it produces spores. Yeah. 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 It's also the similar like the the ferns. Mm. Uh, they reproduce by spores. It's basically, it's basically in the the seeds of the uh, of the, the mushrooms. mushrooms. Right.
There is a big a cow pee, if you can see it, that looks like it's actually sort of uh, is it a creeper? What uh, the cow pee is climber. Uh -huh. it, it's, it's climbing, you know, there. It's actually this big enough. It's a cow pee, it's actually it's very interesting. It normally is a lot here, yeah, this one. Yeah. So it's a uh, it's a it's a green. Oh, that's that's the one. The same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One creepy creeper. Two steps in turn. And that brownish structure there is actually the seeds of the bouffain, the, that flower or fan type um, oh, yeah. bulb that we saw the, on the other side. That's actually how the, the seed or the, 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 the inflorescence. Uh, okay, so that thing when the book, yeah, you see it's quite quite fairly light. That's the infructescence. The yeah, so it's, it's fairly light. Mm. So uh, the wind blows this off quite easily. I mean, as you can see here, uh, the, the seats uh, is actually inside this um, structure there. So when the wind blows it, it just roll uh, along the way and as this dry out, it just burst open or get damaged and then the seat disperse mm. mm, as they... Uh, and this is part of where is it coming from? Uh, from the book form, I mean? Yeah. This the you know, the one that, 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 um, that highly poisons? Uh, mm. the, the, oh. the fern, the poison. The fern structure. The fern structure? Yeah, yeah. that we saw the... the fern structure, that we saw. We, we, the one that I said is, is, is arguably the most poisonous yeah. plant Indeed. in the world. Yeah. Oh, yes. Once the, the flowers have been pollinated, yeah. uh, and so this is how it ends up. So people use it also to decorate yeah. homes, yeah. homes, you can hang it, yeah. so on. So this is the tumbleweed. The tumbleweed. Yeah, you see how easy yeah. <laughs> it just goes there. <laughs> Tumbling, but artificially, so Yako managed to... Yeah. So it's, it's, it's part of this one. Yeah. yeah so that, that this this is the the plant. Oh no. So so okay. The FK. Francisca. Yes, yes. This is the this is the plant. You can show them the plant. That they, ah yes. So this is the. This is the the mother. Uh -huh. Yeah. That that thing that that that, that guy is carrying now. The guy, that the, the, the nice guy is carrying. <laughs> information. The name is gone now. Which one? Uh, some of the what? Oh yeah, you, you can you, you Yako will, it will he hates this thing, so he's gonna. <laughs> he's gonna tell you about what he hates. <laughs> just, just to, just to um, keep in mind that unfortunately the the people brought really really invasive plants um, into the country. Now this um, is one of them. Is one of the, the what they call the upuntia. Now it's uh, also a. a succulent uh, plant and there is a smaller one with like in ra the roundish yeah. flat uh, leaves when i see one i will uh, i will show you the puntia is the botanical name um, i'm not too sure uh, but i guess the, the the birds disperse the seeds very easily um, and especially in this section of Ventuk. Um, it is very invasive in such an extent that it actually um, it's yeah, it takes over the natural, the indigenous undergrowth. Um, so that is why it's invasive, why we don't want it. Um, because 
um, it competes with the nutrients, the uh, insects, the well, actually, the natural food for the birds and so forth um, is taken away yeah. because of that. Um, it's a bit tough to eradicate. Um, if you break off a piece and you drop it there, it, can, it just okay. grows out okay. again. Um, I've um, one get different species of them. Some of them are thick like this and they grow quite tall. Um, there was once a guy, maybe they, he might be here, but I once had a guy that took part of that tall uh, fleshy structure and he put it on the uh, interlocks for eight months it stayed there and once the rain came it started to grow again so it's really don't tough die, yeah, it's tough. a never die or <laughs> don't die easily type of plant and fortunately for the botanical garden um, they are often days or then the workers in here they come and they remove the stuff and take it uh, to the rubbish dump and um, it can be treated chemically but then one needs to be um, real cautious uh, for example not to uh, um, spray the, uh, the aloes because the chemical uh, that is used might um, kill the, the um, aloes for example as well um, most probably, although a bit labor intensive, is to, um, to do mechanical, yeah, do mechanical uh, control. And uh, if one, the, I, I would suggest the best way to kill these things is to really bury them like more than a meter deep um, so that they don't get moisture and uh, sunlight to grow. Um, what uh, there is one lady this uh, year this morning she's with the project busy where she go actually and mechanically eradicate a lot of the, all these things um, what uh, we have suggest to her is uh, and with the, with the guys that deals with the refuse is they transport uh, the material in these big uh, skip containers and then they would dump it at the dump site right on the edge of the um, the area so whenever they come and drop uh, <coughs> soil and building material um, and the bulldozer come and push um, the area uh, level it again